ain't had nothing to say when niggas participating in the fake run on whack. They lost that because they can't show nothing, right? So it's only right I can participate in the authentic shit with his likeness, with him, with his voice, with his his thing, right? Fair change, no robbery. This is what we doing. Nigga get mad at me. Nigga get mad at me because he going at Roddy. I they said whack. Could you get him on stage? I brought the nigga on the stage. Y'all from the same hood. I don't give a fuck what y'all got going through. You started it with him. But you get mad at me behind doing what y'all asked me to do. Maybe you thought I couldn't get him there. He came in, did his shit. I still don't know what the fucking issue is with me. But nevertheless, right? Hey. It's what it is. So now you sat there and participated in a fake in a fake paperwork room on whack. So now it's my right, and it really ain't my business. I would have really looked the other way when they gave a fuck about it, you know. But, you know, the content is here. You know, I got patience. I'm a penitentiary nigga. I did a lot of time and, you know, a lot of solitary confinement time. So it's it's my right to run the content on you. That That's, that's fair, right? Content for content. You took your shot. Now it's time for me to take my shot. The only difference is you niggas' voices don't mean nothing. When I go to speaking and I go to narrating, oh, it's going to go. Hope niggas learn their lesson on listening. Don't fuck with a nigga who I ain't got an issue with. If you got an issue with that nigga, do Sims, whoever you is, the nigga that beat the woman that we got the paperwork on, drug her in the parking lot and threw her in the trunk, I don't fuck with niggas like that. If that's what you want to fuck with, cool. I got a daughter. I don't, I don't fuck with that. Right? Y'all put himself in the trick bag for no reason, no reason to have a core with whack for no reason. Instead of being an artist and creating a working relationship, something these do films beg me to do, he don't never give niggas the backstory. I go to these back channels, yo, whack this, whack that. Matter of fact, he called me about this nigga, Yael. Whack, could you clear this song? Your artist got on. Woo -de -woo. I didn't have no problem with it. I ain't gonna block no nigga. Whatever. I look out for niggas. These niggas hate so much. These niggas are such females because they can't get their own. We come from the same shit that they find a reason for no reason to hate on Whack. I got a voice, nigga. And I speak from facts. What I'm not going to do is what y'all do is water down my voice. When niggas hear my voice, they say we may don't fuck with him. But when he say something, he lay the facts on the table. You niggas is over there playing with water, my nigga. I'm burning shit down with fire. So that's what it's going to be. That's what it is. And I'm going and I'm I'm to run a marathon on this shit. Because, hey, niggas initiated the disrespect. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, hey. Niggas initiated the disrespect, and Yael, you even know from your G homies, Stutterbox is a rat. He told on seven of his homies, the whole L.A. motherfucking county jail knew about that case. Facts. But we're going to run the work. Where the rat at? Who the rat at? Um, where the rat at? We're going to run. We're going to run it. But your, your man, Yael, was running the fake paperwork. Knowing my name was hey, no bro, I, I now we got no, look check this out, bro. No, I you did no though, bro. Nigga. I was in a room. Yeah, I was in a room. If a okay, nigga, then, if a nigga so, saying, so, if a so nigga saying, am, you look, in the paperwork, bro. Look, we know how to Did you work. see my name in the paperwork? You know my you know you know my gang names. You know my first, last, middle name. Hey, the world know it. Did you did you see it? Whack, I didn't see your name in no paperwork, okay, but at then. the end of the day, my nigga, I don't know, I don't know what y'all shit got going on. Listen, all I know is that niggas was trying to, niggas was trying to run a trick something bag something on me. You niggas, knew, niggas playing know. with me, bro. Hey, you knew that you niggas was trying to play with me, bro. And you so, know, oh, yeah, yeah, niggas, yeah, come yeah. on, bro. Yeah, yeah, know, when I came to that first room, they said whack. You know him? I said I don't know him. I don't know him. And then you got on, I said I'm gonna get Roddy. They like, I said he'll answer my call. He'll come on if I call him. Well, go get him. I went and got him. Nigga, y'all both from Park Village, nigga. Y'all. Nah, he ain't from Park Village. Don't put that nigga in, in the okay, same well, thing with me, bro. Park Come Village on, bro. just came on in. I know him to be from Park Village. The niggas around him is Park Villages. Whatever, right? That's you deal with that shit, right? 
Every time I see him, it's Park Villages with him. So if he ain't, then fuck it. They say he is. Y'all deal with that. But how the fuck you gonna blame me? Get mad at me? Cause I went and got a nigga that y'all was talking about. Nobody was mad me. at you for getting him. I told it. Even look, even Deuce M's. Even when nigga said that the paperwork on him was fake, and you you agreed and said that shit was fake. Nigga, no, 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 never agreed. We got to work. We got his first, last name, everything. When, hey, no, when that. you said he was a snitch, you was like the shit was fake. And then Deuce Sims was like, "All right, the shit ain't real. It is what it is." The only work I wear on Deuce Sims is when he beat the bitch, beat the girl in the parking lot, threw her in the trunk. Well, I'm just clarifying. That's what niggas said, and you said that it was. I fake ran the work where he beat the broad and threw her in the trunk. I got that work. The shit with his name being a rat. That was I, fake. That was fake. No, I don't know nothing. We got the work. Okay. And if we ran it, it ain't fake. He ain't gonna run nothing fake. But I, as far as the homies, as far as anybody mad at you for bringing Roddy on this clubhouse, I was never mad about that. I, I never okay, got mad so at my feelings about that. Let's get it right. I clear the records for you. I, right? How did you have an issue with me? Because this oh, nigga. So right there. No, we keep it real. You ain't never supposed to have an issue. You, you got these niggas over here. Deuce M's homie was begging me, whack. I, I want to do the music. Can you this? Can you that? You know the story, you whack. What everybody say. If he fucking with you, he fucking with you. If he ain't, he ain't. I told him I ain't fucking with you. I don't know you, bro. When I called and did a warrant check on you, your homie said you from the hood, but you been living in motherfucking Madison, Wisconsin for 12 years. Okay? I don't know if that's a witness protection program. I don't know what you on. I ain't fucking with you. That's it. I left it. That's my right. Is it not, Yael? That is my fucking I mean, right. You did what you did. You know what I'm That's saying? That's my and right, right? So look, he, look, 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 y'all. If I tell you and you bring a song and say, yo, I got it, and I listen to it, I say, I ain't fucking with it. You would be a damn fool to say, fuck that nigga. You know what I would do? Put my song out, prove me wrong, do another one. Yo, right, I got another one. Send it. Hey, you know what? I'll fuck with this. Don't take it personal because I ain't fucking with something. That's business. Niggas ain't females. A bitch supposed to take it personal. What you mean, nigga? I'm fine. I got that. I got the this, this. No, nigga, you a man if I ain't fucking with that particular situation. That's just what it is. It's business. But this whole ass nigga, same nigga that come, yo, whack, I'm from Grimm's, yo, whack, I want to do some business, yo, whack, I want to, I got an NFT deal. I ain't fucking with it, homie. I don't know you, and I, you know, respectfully. Oh, fuck you then. Use a fake blood. Because when Don moves to where I come from, we uplift each other, my nigga. Whether we want to do business or not, if the business don't work, it's still par root. We're going to still push this flag, and that's it. Right? Right. But niggas is mad because my spidey sense be talking to me. Now imagine fucking with a nigga like that and helping him out and then helping him get up. Then he goes snake. I'd rather me just not fuck with him and let him go snake. I can deal with that. But you, you let these niggas influence you, and you come from a total different structure, nigga. Nah, your neighborhood nigga. your neighborhood is a total different structure from all them niggas, and you fucking know it, nigga. From the Samoan aspect of it, nigga, to the other side of that shit, it's a total different structure, and you let these fuck niggas influence you, a nigga that really has some, some spark, that really could have some movement. I really could have been a real mediator with you and your mans, right? Just to get something done, right? You let Black, these nigga niggas... Set me up for the bullshit, bro. You let, Come on, bro. You let, let them niggas, bro. you let them niggas over there who had nothing going on drag you into their shit, homie. Didn't I tell you come to the studio, let's work? I told you that, right? Whack, you really gonna sit here and, and but really didn't call I tell you shit, that? nigga? Didn't I tell you that? I didn't, bro, that didn't come you, out of my mouth? I don't remember you saying all you that. Fuck, I said, come to the studio. I don't remember you saying all I that. I said, come to the studio. I remember, you, I remember you said, you'll clear the record. And Deuce M said, salute Wax for that. And I said, salute the nigga for clearing the record. He did some, that was some a real shit. A nigga called there, a bar rule and said, a park village cop and crip. We enemies by nature. Need you Wax, to clear stop something with all that. that. Nigga, I fuck with power rules. No, I, it I don't matter, with nigga. With I was it young. don't matter. Damn, I don't know you, hey, bro. See, see, the fact that you ignore that and don't say, I don't know this nigga, he a power rule. I know what I am. And it wasn't no, no money. It wasn't no, he trying to nothing. And he just did that like that. I don't know. I didn't do that for Deuce Hems, homie. I did that because you from Park Village. I don't know that nigga. But I got Park Villages in my studio every week. 
just the other side of them. Simone's, a few other type motherfuckers I do business with. Right? I cleared that because you from Park Village. I didn't clear that for that nigga. That nigga can't get nothing done with me. I don't know, dude. Dude couldn't get his own shit done with me. I told him no everything he asked for. Who? Where he from? If the nigga would have told me he for about now I wouldn't have cleared shit out of called the six deuces, M Rock, you know this nigga? Y'all whack, I don't know. I ain't clearing it. Y'all, I know him. I tried to clear it for M Rock. So don't let that nigga hold that over your head, homie. I cleared that because you from Park Village. On Paul Road. I ain't cleared that for him, homie. He ain't got no type of lift with me, bro. None. I can show you my back channels, everything he asked me to do, I deny him. I don't know, dude, I ain't never seen this nigga a day in my life, bro. But, you let these bozos, if you out of town, niggas, drag you into some shit that you know. Hold on, what you got? Do it say Cass Jones? Do it say Little Wack? Do it say any? Oh, okay. Wait, do it say he was arrested? Did he say... He wasn't arrested, he wasn't arraigned, he ain't nothing. Oh, no, nah, nigga, I'm out. It's the music business, bro, it's business. I'm not finna make enemies of motherfuckers I might have to do business with. For another nigga who tried to get the business done and couldn't. I ain't gonna do it, bro. But now, right, now, it comes full circle. Niggas bring me something, I say, oh, yeah. what it say? That's what that is? Ordinarily, I'd ignore it. But shit, I got, you know, I am a little, my daddy is a pastor. The book does say, do unto others as you want others to do unto you. That's what the good book says. So niggas can't fault me. All I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I expect you to do. Go off the facts. What's in front of me? I'm just going to go off the facts. And the facts is you got your ass beat, pussy. That's what the facts is. And then you got up there and said, I don't even know if I want to do this with the homies on no more. I can't believe the homies would do this to me. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Or oh, that crybaby ass shit. <laughs> hey, I, nigga, I, nigga, nigga, nigga. Hold on. Oh, he, oh, yeah, he better have left the room. Of course he left the room. He don't, it's, look, Tommy, it's too real for him. He knows. Rowdy, uh, Rowdy he already know. said he a fake crib. He know he left oh, him. Niggas. He know he left them niggas bait him into some shit that wasn't real. He know ain't nothing I can say because Hey hey where hey where Flacco at? The content is here. He's still here. He's still here. He's still here. He's still here. Hey, hey, Tommy, you still got that message he sent you last night talking about he loyal to Yahel and, and he can't come talk to us in the room and all the shit? Blanco ain't never finna tell Wack he ain't coming to talk to yeah, us. Yeah, no, it wasn't crazy. even like that. I think you're reaching with that Blanco one. Blanco is oh. not going yeah. to Wack tell never Wack. Me and Flacco been, me and been putting together business fucking... for the last three, four months. Yeah, like Flacco, Flacco was like, I'll still, I'll come and I'll still do this shit regardless, you know what I mean? Don't reach, you know But this the thing, Tommy Flacco ain't got to check in with you to keep been coming over here. I know he does. The I nigga know he... got a hundred PTR. That's what, that's why that's he was why saying he weird asshole. last night. Shit, he been him. coming over here, me and the nigga, but, the nigga, the nigga finna come run my podcast room. The nigga tried to, man, uh, I, 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 I don't know what, what you mean, like Flacco is... But, but, Tommy, read the message that I sent you last night. I don't know what he... Uh, Blood says yeah. some shit like his loyalty is to y'all, So how me ask, wait, 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 though. Flacco, let, let me ask right. you something, Flacco. Tommy asked me, why never asked me, though? I never knew what yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 look, Flacco. But that's a hundred rooms. Flacco, listen, let's get this understand, right? We, we, we been contemplating the Muslim business, am I right? Yeah, right. Okay, you report the news. You report what's in the... I'm the main one that say the nigga's a blogger. Yeah. Don't blame him. Blame the motherfucking nigga that created the story. If you the nigga that ran, got caught doing some gay shit, or whatever you got caught doing, blame yourself. Don't blame the blogger for earning yeah. this living. I don't believe that Flacco's gonna tell whack. He not going to pull up and have a conversation about something in the blog. I don't believe that. Yeah, nah, 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 right? When Tommy hit me up, whack, I didn't even know, like, this was like a whack room. You feel me? Right? Right? Because it was under no room for the week. Yeah, yeah. So you he, feel me? Like, yeah. I don't even know. Well, whack was in the room the whole night. We stayed within the whole night. Whack in the room. Was
PCR in the room. You, if you would have clicked on that, you would have even looked, you would have seen Wack in the motherfucker hallway in the room. Because he was there all night. Yeah, right, right, right. right. It would have been like a different thing. So you're not going like, to come, so we're saying right, come like, to the room. Right, like, you see so Wack at the room, but you don't come in. Hear me out, though, right? It would have been like a different situation, right? You feel me? If it was a 100 ENT room or if Wack hit me up, like, yo, come to the room, nephews, right? But Tommy hit me up, you feel me? Like, I didn't even know, like, this was like a, you know, a, a, a Wack thing, you feel me? Yeah, it was me that hit him so up. So Tommy hit you up, you go immediately think, look at the floor. It, it, it you look at the floor of the me. room. You see Wack 100 right there because his, his name's going to come up because you are following him by him and he follows no, you. No, tell me send me the link. No, 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 no. Just send me about the link, you feel me? I didn't even click on it. I seen the title. Yeah, all right, Flacco. All right, bro. Yeah, Wack told me that if it was him that would have, you know what I mean, he would have came immediately. So, I mean, I get it. I definitely get it. This Why shit is crazy, but carry on. I mean, I'm just saying, we going to, you know, it is what it is. Hey, it's just real. Like, these niggas is crazy. Tommy, even you know, it's like, you got to line yourself with what's real, especially if you doing, trying to do some real shit for your own life. I think the do him nigga made him believe I cleared that for him. Nah, nigga, you ain't fine of that nigga. I cleared it from, where you from? Are you from Park Village? I fuck with the little girl. What's her name? Asian? I fuck with little Asian. She from Park Village. Right? So I ain't tripping. Nigga, West Coast nigga, you know, trying to get off the floor. Yeah, go ahead on, man. I don't need no money from you. Hey, whack. Remember you brought, you brought motherfucking Rowdy on for fucking, uh, for, I brought uh, him on here. You brought him on there for them. For them. He, he was did talking that crazy about Rowdy. I said, y'all won't be getting it. Like, man, Rowdy ain't got no club on the couch. The nigga ain't gonna call. I said, if I call him, he gonna come on here. Wack had to help the nigga set up a damn account to get on here. He didn't even know how to get on here. <laughs> oh, beehive, no. beehive. Show up to Beehive today. Show up to Beehive today. That shit's going to go up. We got all the content already ready. We got all the but content. See, hey, but see Phoenix. now. Get hey, ready. <laughs> but see now. We got it all ready. Um, hey, y'all. I'm a leader, you know. When you bring me up, green me. I fuck with y'all. Thank you. I do it all the time. I just got a thing. Atlantic Records, bankroll, Hayden Wack. Can we get a blue face cleanse? Clear. I don't be charging these little young niggas, man. Do your shit. And I'm trying to get him. Nigga, use a cop to crib. Nigga, we enemies by nature. And I wasn't tripping. Clear this Dude, album, Wack. You clear this that shit. Did, that did not that happen because of dude. I think Deuce Hills had him thinking... Whack I, I can show you my back channels. Do seems to ask me to do ten things. I didn't do nah, I ain't fucking with you. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> I said no to every day. Hey Whack. My, you remember my, why why you kept saying uh, hey, remember he kept wanting you to do all kind of weird shit? He did the, the fucking thing against You remember he would come to the room. The nigga was a whack. He was a whack dick rider. He was a dick rider. Nah, he was a fucker. dick rider. He used to make me feel uncomfortable because I'm like, damn nigga, how you talking in third party like, yeah, cause you know whack. You remember nah, I don't remember nothing. I don't know you, nigga. What the fuck you mean? I don't know you. You live in Madison, Wisconsin. A decade or better. I don't know you. Then we got the zesty pictures with the no mustache, with the motherfucking Vaseline on the lips, on the face. Yeah, with the laid hands in like the back. motherfucking prison bed with the hands behind your ear. Shit got weird. Pink yeah, dude. Bad. And then we got the crackhead dad. We got the crackhead daddy. The crack Tommy, you ever seen them joints? This shit got weird. This got weird. No, he, his daddy a crackhead too, so it was kind of weird. We got him, daddy. yeah. We got him, like, so... You know, with Yael, and then it's most shit I know because I called over there. Tommy, listen. I called over there, and I let it go. I let it go, but the fact that he really got a career going, but he fucking with niggas that have nothing going. He got to get the fuck away from the shit that ain't going to do nothing for him. I think Deuce Sims had him thinking I cleared that for him. Oh, Pa Ru, I ain't cleared. I cleared that because that man from Park Village. I fucked with the little girl, um, Asia. 
I like her music. She had just did a verse for us back then. I was on the Banging on Wax project. She yeah, had blessed us with a verse and shit. So, you know, the pack, even Park Village. Park Village just be coming to my studio. I do business with a few of them on the Samoan side over there. So, you know, I did what I was supposed to do. I cleared it I cleared it because of where he was from. Period. I didn't do that for Do Sims. If Do Sims would have told me Yael was his artist, I wouldn't have cleared it. Straight up. I think Fact. he's back on stage, Wack. I, I think that's what dude fed him. It's like, I got this done. No, nigga. I said, where you from? I said, oh, okay, cool. Do Sims don't know that I do business over there. He don't know that, you know, the little girl that just blessed us with a verse. He don't know none of that. But what he do know is I ain't did nothing for him for his own personal shit that he asked me for. He knows that. So, like, so, you know, y'all really need to know that, bro. And he really need to know that them niggas is over there. Man, if they was real, they'd be like, yo, bro, we on some bullshit right now with the nigga name. You know his people watching, they're going to tell him, you know, nigga, you really out there working, my nigga. You might want to stay away from this one. Straight up. Told my homie the other day, bro, once you get up out of here, whack, nah, nah, it's some game man shit going on, bro. This ain't what you do going home. Whack on with you. Nah, go on home. This real shit. But you know, I, I don't mind playing the game. I tell people, I do not mind playing the game. Just don't get mad when I play the game. I don't mind. I've been home 24 years. I'm too loud. I'm too loud. Anything would have been on the whack, nigga. It, it would have been out. You can dig, 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 dig all you want. The only payment I get for keeping it real in them streets, in them institutions, CYA, juvenile hall, them penitentiaries, is to be able to talk about the motherfuckers that didn't. That's the only pay I get for it. Did nothing else come of it. So if you're going to get mad because I'm ex oh, nigga, oh, you didn't with nigga yet. Yeah, the world need to know that. Then niggas get mad. Why is it your business? It's the world business because it might be a nigga out there that don't know that he attempting to do some motherfucking business with and trying to line up. And because we didn't let it be known, he twisted. The world need to know. That's it. If you got a hit record, I bet you want the world to know. Got a hit record, they want the world to know. But nigga go to telling, they don't want nobody to know. Just keeping it real, bro. And then this is the coldest part. They need to stop doing this. I think Yael will agree. I hear this all the time. He from the valley. Let me tell you why it makes you sound crazy. Well, if wherever you from is supposed to be that dynamic to where I'm from, then why you ain't on and I'm on? Hello? I mean, niggas got their own thing going on. You feel me? Niggas got their no, own I'm thing. I'm saying like, niggas got I, you been to though. jail, right? You been you did some time, right? You been some time? I've, I've been to jail, yeah. I ain't never One been to jail. One thing about though. my homies from 2 p one thing about my homies, you run across them in the county, the penitentiary, wherever you run, nigga, they going to do what it need to be done. Believe that. Believe that. Now, I, I fuck with your homies, Baby Scam, Lil' J Extra, Dayway. I fuck, I fuck with them niggas. You feel me? My thing is this. Like you said, if it ain't in black and white. Who the is fuck is Baby Skim? That's L uh, Lil' Skimp is Harvey. He's a lifer. Who the fuck is a Baby Skim? Who is that? He Know was in CMC is. with two. <laughs> Who was Baby Skimp? Is that the little red bull nigga that changed his name? He got I don't know hair. if he changed his name. He was in CMC with two. Yeah, because 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 he got like you the know, baby hair. Little yeah. Skimp, little Skimp yeah. is hard. Unless that's Wayne's son, that might be Skimp nephew. Because he did tell me he was trying to claim his name. He didn't like it. His nephew. You know, little Skimp is hard. He been gone for yeah. two decades. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he a lifer. So I don't know. See, when you say these type of names, you know, you got to remember, y'all, I'm a, I'm a real Pacoima baby. A lot of these little niggas, I tell a nigga, how old are you? You 33? 
Okay, if you're 33 and I'm 45, I'm 12 years older than you. I went, fuck everything else. I went to the penitentiary at 16. That means you was four when I left. Of course you don't know me. You was 10 when I came home. You know why you don't know me? Because when I came home, I bust a right on them niggas and went to the moon. Niggas hustled on the block to get off the block. I got my own hood outside of the hood I'm from. You know what that mean to have your own hood, Yael? That mean I can tell the police, get the fuck off my property. They can't give me a ticket for trespassing in the park. Yeah, talk to me out there on the curb. You got a warrant? Fuck off my property. Yeah, this my hood right here. I got a gang of them hoods, a gang of addresses. I got a gang of them. I tell niggas, until you start owning your own hood, you ain't gonna understand it. Misery love company. What the fuck I'm gonna hang with a nigga who ain't figured out how to get off his auntie couch for, nigga? What I look like? We outside, we outside. You're outside because you have to be outside. Auntie Sue said, get the fuck off my couch, nigga. Auntie Sue said, get off my couch, go find a job. I go outside too. I go outside. I get in the back of a black car or I get in my car. I go to the building. I get outside in valet. I walk to the lobby. I go to the elevator. I go upstairs to the 50th floor. I do my business. And if I got to go outside to another location, that's what I do. Why, why you don't hang out? How much that pay you? How much hanging out pay you? I know how much time you get by hanging out. You know, police come and throw dope and, you know, land by your feet. You know he threw the dope and he ain't claiming it. You can't say nothing or you a snitch. You got to take a deal for five. I, I know what that is. I mean, I'm just trying to understand. Nah. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click like, subscribe to the video, and follow us on all social media platforms. Come back daily to see new content or shit we throw up just to keep your day going. Remember, we put out nothing but premium content. The one, the only. Straight No Chasers.